Big Bear Lake is Southern California's only four season resort. I think our most unique characteristics really is where we live, our location. We are in the most beautiful city in the country and we have an incredible community of really strong, caring people. And I think that our most unique characteristics really rely heavily on the people that live in this community. As a resort destination, we have a 24 million people that live within three hours of here, from Vegas to Santa Barbara to uh, San Diego. Uh, there's a, a cr an incredible amount of uh, people that uh, can easily access the area and come up uh, and recreate and enjoy the, uh, the outdoor activity here. And really, this is the escape for a lot of people throughout Southern California. They come here to get away from the urban setting. They come here to get fresh air and really experience the great outdoors. And as we become more and more sophisticated with that, we'll offer more and more things for them to do, more events for them to come and see, and really just enjoy the mountains and get away from it all. If I could describe Big Bear in two words, it would be hometown. Um, for our family, we've been here a long time and our roots are here. And I think people come to Big Bear looking for that hometown, that small town community feel where people know your name. We have visitors in my store that come in time and time again and we know who they are, we know what drinks they order, we know what their favorite food is, and that makes a huge difference. They become and really feel integrated into our hometown. And that's Big Bear. We've really just matured quite a bit over the last decade. We went from a two-lane highway to a four-lane highway, which is a big change. We've seen things change as well as our population grow. And really just a sophistication here in Southern California as people realize that they don't have to travel to a Lake Tahoe, they don't have to travel to an Aspen. They have right in their own backyard a beautiful alpine setting that they can come to. My wife and I moved here in 1991, and uh, back then it was just a little small town. It still is a small town in most respects. But over the years, the city's grown. We've come a long way since the early 90s. Well, I've personally been a business owner here for 13 years, and there's been a lot of change in the past 13 years in Big Bear Lake. Uh, the city's uh, taken great strides to uh, identify us as a resort destination, embrace that concept, and uh, work towards uh, making this a better resort destination for our visitors. Big Bear Mountain Resort's been in partnership in a lot of ways. We work on roads together with the city. We work on signage with the city and Caltrans. We've done a lot to make Big Bear a more viable place to do business, and it's worked out very, very well. We took a very old building that was really an eyesore and we took that building and we turned it really, really quickly. I would say four and a half months we took a building from A to B and I mean completely renovated. There is no other way I could have done that if the city had not been super helpful. And I mean they streamlined my permitting processes, they allowed me to get what, what we call incremental permits so it let me get little sections of permits so I could keep going as things were changing. They had um, a very solid facade improvement program that allowed me to access funding directly from the city right away. Within three weeks I had a check in my hand and if I wasn't able to do that I don't think the quality of materials would have been near as, as impressive as they are on the outside of the building. So I think that alone with the facade improvement program helped me incredibly to get my doors open on time, fast, and it looks beautiful. Our city is again very unique here because our population can expand as much as 500% on any given holiday or weekend. We really have to be prepared for that. So our roads have to be prepared, which we are. We have approximately six miles of new roads that have been put in. We have a beautiful new bridge that has been put in down at our dam. That is a $38 million project. 
I'm very proud of our city staff and the job they've done in, in living within the means. Our budgets are balanced, our reserves are funded, and, and we're in great shape. Well, you know, here in Big Bear, we're uh, fortunate that we're surrounded by the San Bernardino National Forest, and it affords uh, an incredible amount of opportunities for our visitors here. You can go hiking and biking in the forest. We have two ski resorts here that afford opportunities for people to ski and go snowboarding. Uh, recently, uh, we've started programs that involve uh, snowshoeing in the area. Big Bear really offers tremendous things here. Um, first off, during the summertime, we have the obvious fishing in the lake. We also have trails for hiking and biking. Mountain biking is very, very big, and as well as road cycling now here in Big Bear is very, very big. We've been a host to the MGen Tour of California, an exciting opportunity to see professional cyclists from all over the world climbing into Big Bear into our altitude. It's really, there's never a shortage of something to do in Big Bear. Clean air, clean water, great schools. It's just a great little community. Big Bear five or ten years from now is really just going to continue to evolve in and become more and more sophisticated. Another thing we've been working with the city on is signage. Getting people to Big Bear the fastest and most efficient way has proven to be really important for our, our economy. We've worked in conjunction with Caltrans and greatly improved the signage at the bottom of the mountain directing people to Big Bear. I mean, we're really growing and there has been always kind of a backlash about growing in our community. Uh, and I think that's starting to change. And I think over the past two decades, we've really seen growth in business. We've seen growth in communication um, between business leaders and the city. Um, education has grown, so we've really come a long way. I think five years from now, it's gonna be much like five years ago. We've come a long, long way and we're looking, we've got a bright future and we're looking forward to it.